In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still. When striving seeks my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness. Was scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. There in the brow his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain. Then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again. that's it. In Christ alone, I stand. You know, for me and my personal journey of faith, that was a huge turning point. When I realized, man, I bring nothing, nothing that will merit my own salvation before a holy and righteous God. It was Christ and Christ alone and all he has done for me that won my redemption and acceptance before this holy and righteous God who loves me and was pursuing me every step of the way for a relationship. And so it is for anyone. Anyone who will come to Him in repentance and believe and receive all that Jesus has done for them and accept that free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. And man, what a precious and amazing gift it is. The best gift we will ever get. You know, on this earth, there is nothing. There is nothing that compares to the peace and the contentment that we have in restored relationship with the Father through Jesus Christ. You know... In the Bible, uh, the name of Jesus always has a lot of activity around it, right? Attributes or circumstances. But if you look carefully, oftentimes you'll see, beside the name of Jesus, you'll see another word, uh, the word peace. And the Old Testament, the Isaiah the prophet, as he was looking forward to the coming Messiah, he said, his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. And then again, in the New Testament, the Apostle Paul reminds us in Ephesians chapter 2, he's talking to us and he says, hey, It is Christ Jesus himself who is your peace. He's the one who brings that that, that shalom, that harmony with God, that lasting and complete harmony that no one could ever take away. And that's the cool thing about it. There's nothing, there's no one, there's no circumstance, no sickness, no power uh, in heaven and earth that that can change that relationship that we have in Jesus Christ. In Christ alone, what a blessed hope we have in restored relationship. And today... I just want us to pause and give thanks 
to a God who loves us and has pursued us for relationship and has provided all we need to be in relationship with him. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for that blessed gift and that blessed hope we have. May we as your people delight in loving you and following you. And Lord, I pray that that you would help us reflect really the beauty of Jesus to others. We love you, Father. It's in his name that we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Take care, church.